I show you how to make sugarless cookies up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget-minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I get letters all the time from people, which I love to get on my website, jolenestrailerpark.com, and people say that they can't have sugar, and you know, I do, I, I cook a lot with sugar and butter, and I'm sorry, but that's what I eat. And I know a lot of y'all are on sugar-restricted diets, and I can't imagine that yet. But I started searching around in my books and recipes to find a great cookie for you all. And I know everything's good in moderation, but today's cookie doesn't use any extra sugar. It's flavored with orange juice. It's my sugarless cookie. Up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my sugarless cookies is great for someone that's on a sugar-restricted diet. With everything, you should check with your doctor what you eat. I don't know, I tell my doctor I eat cheesesteaks and sugar and she just shakes her head. I don't know, but I can eat that in moderation and this is probably helpful for you. Um, well, this is my stand mixer and you could probably mix this by hand, but um, today we're gonna be using this and this is actually a half cup minus one tablespoon of vegetable oil. That goes right on into the bowl just like that. And I've got one egg and I'm gonna put that right here in the bowl and I'm gonna whip this around just a little bit and get that going and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, to that mixture, you're gonna add a half teaspoon of cinnamon right on in there. And I've got two teaspoons of baking powder. That goes right on in there. And this is a half teaspoon of regular salt. That goes right on in there. And this is gonna mix around just a little bit. Okay, to this mixture, I've got three-fourth cup of fresh orange juice here. And this is one and three-fourth cup of all-purpose flour. First off, I'm gonna dunk in, this is about a teaspoon of grated orange peel, and that just liven things up right on in there, just like that. And we're gonna slowly add a little bit of the flour and the orange juice and get this going until it's a mixture. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, to that mixture, we're gonna add a half cup of walnuts, or you could use your favorite nuts, right on into the mixture, and a half cup of raisins, right on in there. And just give that a light mix around. Okay, now we have the batter for our sugarless cookies, and I chilled mine just a little bit for just a few minutes, and I've got a cookie scooper and a baking tray, and it's ungreased, and we're just gonna drop them teaspoon style right down on the baking pan, and I preheated the oven to 375 degrees, and these are gonna bake up. We use the walnuts today. You could probably use a different kind of nut if you don't like walnuts. Leave a comment down at the bottom about what you would use, and some people don't like raisins. I get comments all the time Jolene, I don't like raisins. Well, I can't help that. You could find something else 
maybe um, a cranberry. That would probably be good in this, especially with the orange, especially around the holidays. This could be a favorite holiday cookie that way, but you could really change this up, I would think, but we're going to taste this after they come out of the oven, and these are going to bake for about 15 to 20 minutes, and I've got a pan ready here, and we're going to pop them in the oven and set your timer. And there you have it, my sugarless cookie. And what's going on here? There's no color. That's weird. I know what it is. These don't have sugar in it, and I guess I have to taste one to bring the color back because I don't know, they, they may not taste good to me. And I love sugar, and I like to experiment with other things, but um, these might not match my taste test that I'm looking for in a cookie that's sugar-free. Well, it's got natural sugar in it. So let's go ahead and get it over with and give it a taste. Hmm. I do like that. It's got that zing of the orange and the sweetness of the raisin. And it's got kind of a crumb kind of texture with a kind of interesting top. And, mmm. The crunch of the nuts and that orange zest really wakes them up. And I think these will be a renter for someone that needs to cut back on um, their sugar. And um, everyone needs to uh, be careful with that these days, they say. So everything in moderation. But this definitely changes things up. And... I hope you get a chance to make my sugarless cookies, and if you do, send a picture at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And of course, add me on Google+. I'm there too. And there's more cooking shows right around the corner, so hit that subscribe button wherever it's moved to. I love y'all, and I'll see you back real soon. Enjoy the cookies! Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Fun pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.